if the equation of the straight line is y equal to a by bx plus c. Firstly, check if c is positive or negative. If c is positive, then mark that many points on y-axis above x-axis. If c is negative, then mark below x-axis. And now look at a. If a is positive, then move the point upward by a unit. And if a is negative, then move the point a unit downward. And now shift the point b unit towards right and join it with point c. And this is the equation of straight line. x square plus y square equal to r square is the equation of circle with center at 0 0 and radius equal to r. Now if we move our center at point a b then equation of circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square equal to r square. And if the end point of diameter are given then equation of our circle is x minus x1 times x minus x2 plus y minus y1 times y minus y2 equal to 0. Here x1 y1 and x2 y2 are the end points of the diameter. x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 is known as the general equation of circle. And with the help of this equation, we can easily find the center and the radius of the circle. Here, center of the circle is minus g minus f. And its radius is square root g square plus f square minus c. Everyone knows about these four basic parabolas. All of these parabolas have the same vertex which is at the origin. And focus is at a equal to 0 or minus a equal to 0. For left hand side parabola and for right hand side parabolas, it is at 0a and 0 minus a. If we shift the vertex of parabola at some point h and k, then the equation of this parabola become y minus k whole square equal to 4a times x minus h, where h and k are the vertex of the parabola and its focus and directrix become h plus a k and x equal to h minus a. In the end of this video, we are going to discuss the general process of tracing a conic. The curve is symmetrical about the x-axis if the equation remain unchanged on replacing y by minus y or if the equation contains only even power of y. For example, y square equal to 4x. The curve is symmetrical about y axis if the equation remain unchanged on replacing x with minus x or if it contains only even power of x. For example, x square equal to 4ay. The curve is symmetrical in opposite quadrant if the equation remain unchanged when x and y are replaced with minus x and minus y. For example, y equal to x cube. The curve is symmetrical about the line y equal to x if the equation remain unchanged on replacing y with x and x with y. For example, x square plus y square equal to r square. Similarly, the curve is said to be symmetrical about the line y equal to minus x if the equation remain unchanged on replacing x with minus y and y with minus x. These curves are symmetrical in opposite quadrants because when we replace x with minus x and y with minus y, the equation remains unchanged and they all pass through the origin. These curves are symmetrical about x axis because equation contains only even power of y. Similarly, these curves are symmetrical about y axis because equation contains only even power of x. 
there are two types of ellipse horizontal ellipse and vertical ellipse in case of horizontal ellipse a square is greater than b square and for vertical ellipse a square is less than b square they both have focus vertex and directrix but the center of both of these is at 0 0 if we shift the center of the ellipse at some point h and k then equation of ellipse become if both a and b are equal then ellipse become circle with radius a there are two types of hyperbolas horizontal hyperbola and vertical hyperbola they both have focus vertex directrix and asymptotes we will discuss them in detail in another video i just gave you the overview of basic conic so that you can easily understand the tracing of conic this is the general equation of conic it can be parabola hyperbola ellipse or two lines our first step is to find what this equation represents for this we have to find delta which is equal to the determinant of this now there are two cases if delta equal to 0 or delta not equal to 0 if delta equal to 0 then the general equation of conic represent two lines which can be parallel intersecting or perpendicular now for parallel lines ab minus h square equal to 0 for intersecting lines ab minus h square not equal to 0 and for perpendicular lines a plus b equal to 0 now for delta not equal to 0 ab minus h square can be greater than 0 equal to 0 or less than 0 if ab minus h square is greater than 0 then the equation represents ellipse If ab minus h square is less than zero, then equation represent hyperbola. If ab minus h square equal to zero, then the equation represents parabola. And if a equal to b and h equal to zero, then the equation represents the circle. Our second step is to find the center of the conic, which can be found by solving these equations. Our next step is to shift the center at origin which can be done by replacing x with x minus x1 and y with y minus y1 So our main equation become ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus c1 where c1 equal to gx1 plus fy1 plus c So we shift our origin Now this equation can be written as or this where a equal to minus a by c1 b equal to minus b by c1 and h equal to minus h by c1 Our fourth step is to find the length of the axis The squares of lengths of the semi axis are given by this equation Let r1 square and r2 square are the two roots of this equation. If r1 square is greater than zero and r2 square is greater than zero, then 2r1 and 2r2 are the lengths of major and minor axes of the ellipse. If one is positive and other is negative, then the length of transverse axis is 2r1 and the length of conjugate axis is 2 square root modulus of r2 square. If both the roots are positive then the equation represents the ellipse and if one of the root is negative then the equation represents the hyperbola Now our fifth step is to find the equation of major and minor axes which can be done by using these formulas where x1 and y1 is the center of the conic Our sixth step is to find the focus, latus rectum, and directrix. So our focus is equal to here theta is the angle of the major or transverse axis to the x-axis. 
latus rectum is equal to 2r2 square by r1 and equation of directrix is equal to and finally we have to find the coordinate of those points where conic meets the coordinate axis which can be done by putting x equal to 0 or y equal to 0. Now this is the sketch of the conic.